Welcome back to the Whiskey Couch and um, this time around what a pleasant venue we are on a bit of a holiday breakaway in Dahlstrom South Africa so it's nice and cold some lovely trout fishing dams out there and um, we are enjoying it here but we thought to bring you a special video here from location in the high field of South Africa and uh, we're doing a very special whiskey. So this is the Whiskey Couch with me, Gustav and... And Elna, and you are watching Whiskey Tasting and Food Bearing Review number 232. 232, and it is so, Bal Blair, Blair Vintage. Vintage bottling from Bal Blair, the um, 1989 second release. That's what we're going to do here from location in Dahlstrom. And it was founded in 1790. This distillery, Bal Blair, in Balblair. the Northern Highlands, 1790. A couple of years ago. That is a couple of years ago. Northern Highlands, and it's owned by Inverhouse Distillers. And this particular bottling matured in ex-bourbon casks. Ex-bourbon cask bottling here from the Bal Blair Distillery. And it says here when it was distilled and when it was bottled... And it's got an ABV of 43%. 43, which is interesting because the 1990 uh, second release was um, uh, 43. This is 43. That one was 46%. Oh, so interesting. that is that is quite interesting. And it's a beautiful bottle. I like the bottling. It's a little bit of detail on the, the bottle. Embossing here yes, yeah, on like the glass. Embossing yes. is very nice. So here we go, Paul Blair, non chill filtered, natural color, and um, you can see the beautiful color. Elna, I don't it's know about you, but I'm yellow just... Yellow gold, I'll say the color is yellow gold. Absolutely, very, pale, very, pale yellow gold. Very, very light color. And as I know, knows this, I'm just getting oh. lots and lots. Definitely fresh fruit. Fresh lots fruit. and lots of fruit. Wow. Apples. Fortunately, it's nice. Apples. It's nice wind still, so there's no mm. no wind, so we can do a yeah. nice nosing. Honey, custard, caramel, vanilla. It's quite a complex nose. Every time you nose, there's something else. Mm, Peaches yes. and cream and lemon. No, the fruit is definitely overwhelming. Yeah. Toffee and what is interesting, not a sherry cask involved here but I'm getting raisins raisins yeah, on, I will agree with palate. you on the raisins it's quite mm. it's quite thick maybe it's the cold because the temperature is cold because you can see the viscosity there on the glass a thick chewy jam let's go okay. Slange Slange on the palate Oh, this is just absolutely magnificent. Mm. I get sweet fruit. Mm. Definitely, the fruit is definitely very prominent for me in this and one. And full bodied, right? Very, very full bodied. Full bodied, lots mm. of fruit. Mm. Apples, oranges, apricots, the raisins again, which is so surprising for me. I also get a little bit nutty in the end, a little bit of mm -hmm. nuts. Mm. But caramelized nuts, not not. Ooh, caramel, woody, nutty, mm -hmm. and now getting something like a milk tart with cinnamon drizzle. The spices is coming to the foreground now. Mm. Milk tart and cinnamon. Mm. A beautiful Definitely. long finish. Definitely a complex, long finish. smooth. Mm. I don't know if you can remember the the nineteen ninety that we did. This one is a 22 year old, the 1990 was a 24 year old, which was more sherry cask. We did that two or three videos ago. Okay, okay. And I'm trying to think which one would be my favorite, this one or, or the, the sherry cask one. one. I like this one. I'm a sherry cask so, fan, so I might, I might yep. lean towards the sherry, the sherry mm -hmm. cask. So a few drops of water immediately, you can see the oily reaction. And let's see what's going to happen here. 
I don't know in this light if the mm. legs are visible there. So after the water, interesting, I get apricot sherbet. You remember when we were kids, the sherbet? Yes, I remember. And I'm yeah. getting fruit lozenges, fruit candy. Interesting, the apricot candy is more store. prominent now. I remember mm. you were saying when we were kids walking into a candy oh, store. Oh, yeah, That's what yeah, I'm yeah. And on the palate. It's better with water. It's even better. I must say. It is as if. I agree with that. Something is released. More fruit. Definitely more fruit with the water. And it that, that makes it wonderful. I like it. I like the fruitiness in whiskey. This is a good jam. I think, mm. I think comparing this to the 1990, I'm going to prefer the 1990. But I think bourbon okay. cask fans will prefer, will prefer this one. Yes, yeah. this one. Yeah. Um, and Bob Blair, my summary would be simply always a treat. 1,500 mm. rand in South Africa around 80 pounds in the UK and I do not know what the price is but our pairing for this um, shortbread we've tried shortbread works quite nice yeah with this yeah, uh, a nice yeah. shortbread if you can add a bit of lemon curd on the shortbread it works oh, yeah, even that, better yeah, yeah. but today Kish Lorraine which is a bacon and cheese mm, mouth-watering and uh, onions it's a beautiful quiche that we're going to try with this bourbon see if you can get yourself a a piece off there and i'm just watching the the trout dams and my rods and everything are ready and i'm ready to go for a bit of trout fishing also here in dolstrom is the very famous world famous wild about whiskey oh yeah bar and we're heading there just now we are aiming to go taste a new 16-year-old Bushmills whiskey because we've got the old bottling and we want to do a comparison. Wonderful. Can't wait for that. So, And I, I believe they've got 1,800 whiskeys there. So yes, maybe we'll yes. take a few photographs. and okay. Maybe we'll be there for a while. Instagram. I think we'll be there for a while. I think we're going to be there for a while. Gonna be there for a while. Let's Here we go. See. This is very nice. Mm. Mm. You see, it just mm. works perfectly because it's a quite a soft quiche. Mm. Yeah. There's nothing spicy yeah. or overwhelming. Bacon, egg, cheese, nicely grilled. Is that what you say when you do something in the stove? Yeah, yeah. Grilled, very, baked. very baked, 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 nicely baked. Very, very good, good. pairing. Quiche Lorraine or shortbread. Shortbread, yeah. And no, that is that us. Is, that's a good. Good combination, this one. What would you give the pairing out of 10? I'll give it 8 out of 10. Yes, I'm, a, I'm agreeing. The pairing is definitely 8 out of 10. So mm -hmm. that's us here from location in our holiday spot. And we are off fly fishing and whiskey tasting. Until next time, Slanja. Slanja.